I walk from my house to the bus that I take to go to work, and I also walk from my house to school. I see a lot of things. I see a lot of things that are wrong with the city. How destroyed the city is, the streets, the housing, kids not going to school. I also see a lot of murals of that young kids that have died because of the violence in the city. I think San Miguel is like the lighthouse that lights a new route in life, that they don't have to go through that cycle of poverty, of hatred, of just like seeing family members die because of violence. San Miguel is a place of opportunity for boys in Newburgh. They come in in fifth grade. I think they don't realize how much their lives are going to change from the moment they walk in the door, the four-year experience that they'll have here, and then they'll move on to high school where we continue to support them, and then even on to college. I graduated as a Grandview Scholar from San Diego, so I was able to attend the Canterbury School in New Milford, Connecticut. It's more than a school. I teach you how to be a gentleman, like treat your mother nice. San Miguel changed me like, I didn't believe I can do it. They, they made me believe that I really could do this work. I could really, I'm a smart kid. I thought I was dumb. They really brought that potential out of me. One of the things that we discover is in college, the difference between students who make it and students who don't is frequently not about ability at all. It's about mindset. It's about who believes that they have the potential to graduate and get a college degree. For a lot of kids, high school is, is sometimes too late uh, for that uh, adjustment to take place. So in a sense, the earlier you can, you can deal with kids, um, the more successful they're, they're going to be. You know, life has just a lot of opportunities and you have to work for them to achieve them. And San Diego definitely put that into my mind and heart. When you add low expectations after low expectations over a period of time, it becomes harder and harder to change them. So when an institution like San Miguel can intervene in students' lives very early, they have the best chance of setting up the right kind of mindset and developing the right kind of character that will contribute to success. Without San Miguel, my son probably would have been hanging in the street, probably with the wrong people, fell in out of school. I've been promoting the school all year. For like two years, I've been promoting San Miguel. Bring your children here, please do. You won't regret it. That's all I can say. I would consider San Miguel as like my second home. If I need anything, if I have trouble with work, school, or just need somebody to talk to or to come here to San Miguel, uh, Father Mark's always happy to help us, to talk with us. So I do feel like San Miguel has grown to be a big part of me. So right now uh, at Fairfield, I'm majoring in political science. I start to realize things like what are other ways I could help other people. And so I think that after I graduate from Fairfield, I do want to go off to law school. Newburgh doesn't have to be known as you know, the murder capital of New York. I want to be someone who wants to stand by their side to let them know that there are opportunities out there for everyone. The scholars who come to us from San Miguel Academy are eager to learn. They never took it as a given that college was in their future. It was shown to them. It was shown to them by some very, very good people. These students are eager to have their part of the American dream. We see a lot of difference between programs that are able to uh, become a part of kids' lives early and programs that only wait till later, and that is early is always better. Early when it comes to helping to transform a student's perspective about what he or she is capable of, early is always better than later. We build a new cycle of go to high school, go to college, graduate, and basically just become a better person, a better adult, a better man.